In conversation, people make statements. Some statements have typos. Some are ambiguous. Some use the wrong words. Some have incorrect grammar. And some are subjective. But I hope you agree that there are some statements which are indisputably unambiguous, grammatically correct, clear, and objective. Like this one. In this video, let's limit our discussion to such indisputable statements. For a rational conversation using indisputable statements, the following three laws of thought are assumed. 1. The law of identity. Whatever is, is. Pinocchio is Pinocchio. 2. The law of non-contradiction. Nothing can both be and not be. Pinocchio's statement cannot both be true and not true. And 3. The law of the excluded middle. Everything must either be or not be. Pinocchio's statement must either be true or not true. Let's say that a conversation or any system of statements is consistent if it satisfies these laws. If it doesn't, then the system explodes. For example, let's go crazy and violate the law of non-contradiction. Let's say that 1 equals 1 and 1 does not equal 1 are both true. Now, because we know that 1 equals 1, this statement must be true. 1 equals 1 and or pigs can fly. Because we know that at least the first clause is true. And for these and or statements, that's all that's needed to make the entire statement true. The second clause may or may not be true. But now our system has three truths. 1 equals 1, 1 does not equal 1, and 1 equals 1 and or pigs can fly. And from truth 2 and 3, a fourth truth follows. Pigs can fly, since at least one clause from three must be true and one does not equal one. In this way, we can conclude anything from a system which harbors an inconsistency, even if it's just one tiny little inconsistency in a vast collection of otherwise consistent statements. One bad apple spoils the bunch. Okay. Let's return to Pinocchio's situation. The fairy has promised to make his nose grow instantaneously every time he tells a lie. Let's say that Pinocchio makes this system of statements. We can determine whether each of these statements is true or false. Therefore, when Pinocchio says each one, we will know whether it's a truth or a lie. And consequently, we can determine whether or not his nose will grow. So this system of statements is consistent. But he could have said more. He could have said a lot more. If he said everything, if he actually said every potential statement, that I would say that his system of statements is complete. Let's define a complete system as one where every potential is actualized. But somewhere in the complete system, there will be this statement, my nose grows now. Now let's think about this statement. If the statement is false, then when Pinocchio says it, he would be lying, and therefore his nose should grow. But if his nose is to grow after saying it, then the statement is actually true. So when he says it, he would be telling the truth, and therefore his nose should not grow. But if, if, but if his nose doesn't grow after saying it, then the statement is actually false. And so on. To no end. We cannot determine whether or not his nose should grow. But something has to happen. The system explodes. The complete system of statements is inconsistent. In Pinocchio's case, you cannot have both completeness and consistency.